Okay, hi, and welcome back, Attorney Steve Vondra, and we are talking in this case about Malibu Media. Malibu Media, this prolific filer of copyright infringement cases. Here is a case from United States District Court in the District of Maryland, and you can see the case number right here, and this is an interesting case. Um, a couple things. Number one, the, def the plaintiff, Malibu Media, was denied attorney fee awards. If you want to really w uh, read a funny case about uh, some what looked to be some shenanigans, according to the court here anyway, uh, but they were denied attorney fees because, well, I'm just going to read this here to you. But this is another point is this is a default judgment. So sometimes people will say, well, what if I don't pay their high demands and I don't settle the case, then what? Uh, it goes to a default. Uh, they file for a default, then they file a default judgment, and they ask the court for their statutory damages typically here. Okay, so what happens? Let's, so let's just take a look. This was after everything had occurred. Case was uh, over. This is the judge's order here. Let's take a look. Um, on January 5th, 2018, United States Magistrate Judge Charles Day filed a report and recommendation in which he recommended that this court grant the motion for default judgment filed by the plaintiff, Malibu Media, grant Malibu Media's requested statutory damages in the amount of 24000 So um, the court is going to go ahead and grant that for 24000 Now, I looked it up. It appeared to be 16 movies that were alleged to be infringed, and that comes out to 1500 per movie. So um, you can see what might happen if you have, uh, we've seen cases with 50, maybe even, uh, you, you may be approaching 100 movies, but imagine having 100 movies you know, you could be facing quite a quite a quite an award there. Hundred and what's that? Hundred and fifty thousand. Um, so you know, this is why you want to answer your your complaints and and try to work something out if you can. But just realize um, that's a pretty heavy amount. So here we go. Um, and the uh, request was to uh, the, the magistrate judge has issued the report to the to the judge, the main federal bench judge, and uh, requested statutory damages amount of twenty four thousand, as well as its request for permanent injunctive relief, and to deny Malibu's request for attorney fees. As I said, there was some alleged shenanigans that went on here with their counsel, and you, you, there's a transcript in here where their attorney had to go face up with the judge and explain what was going on here. So it's pretty interesting. But here's the order, and this is what you may see if your case goes to a default. Uh, the order is Judge Day's report and recommendation is adopted as the order of the court. So the, the, uh, the actual federal judge adopted that, the finding of the magistrate. Two, Malibu's media for default judgment is granted. So now there's a judgment. The request for statutory damages and injunctive relief is, re is granted and denied with the request for attorney fees. So the court uh, really must have found a problem here. Malibu is awarded the total of 24000 in statutory damages. The award shall accrue post-judgment interest. So it accrues interest post-judgment. Um, defendant, here's your injunction language. Okay, so you're the defendant. You're probably going to be served this notice. This is what they're going to be requiring. Defendant is enjoined from directly, contributorily, or indirectly infringing Malibu Media's rights under federal or state law in Malibu's copyrighted works listed in Malibu Media's motion for default judgment, Exhibit A, the works, including without limitation by using the internet, BitTorrent, or any other online media distri distribution system to reproduce, download, or distribute the works, or to make the works available for distribution to the public, except pursuant to a lawful license or with the express authority of Malibu. And here we go, the final piece. Defendant is ordered to destroy all copies of Malibu Media's works that the defendant has downloaded onto any computer hard drive, or server without Malibu's authorization and shall destroy all copies of the work transferred onto phys any physical medium or device in defendant's possession, custody, or control. Okay, so that was the order. Now that was signed. So uh, again, interesting case showing that um, look over these attorney fee uh, declarations very carefully because apparently what had happened is they found that Malibu Media was submitting the identical um, billing statements. The court is troubled 
by Malibu's submission of identical billing statements in multiple cases. The court cautions that attorney fees requests must be true and accurate. In the future, submission of false or misleading attorney fees statements may result in referral to the court's disciplinary and admissions committee. So that's not anything any lawyer wants to ever face. Uh, so obviously, this was a case where, you know, highlights that you got to look at those attorney fees. Those have to be accurate because you're giving declarations. And that didn't, didn't appear to happen in this case. And the judge was not at all pleased. So there you have it. That's a little insight into these Malibu media cases, how they play out. It's an interesting court case. Uh, there is a memorandum of law in there that talks about the statutory damages and what it should be per movie. And so this is a really good case, but um, it doesn't mean they're always going to get their attorney fee award. As you can see, it has to be honest and accurate. Um, you have you have some precedent here that they have been having engaged in some stuff that this judge at least did not like. And you can see the high price, what I consider to be a high price for a default. And now their judgment is out. They can come pursue all lawful means to collect levy bank accounts, garnish wages, things that, uh, you know, things that aren't real necessarily very pleasant. So think about it. If you need to know your options in a torrent case, Strike 3 Holdings or Malibu Media, you know where to find us on the web, attorneysteve.com. That's attorneysteve.com. So who else is bringing you the information? We are. So make sure to subscribe to our channel so you can stay updated if, in case you end up getting one of these letters or subpoena notice from your ISP. I got to run. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. This is general legal information only and not legal advice.